Hi everyone, Charmaine here and today I will be showing you how to make the simplest, I think, the simplest envelope through an origami fold and I'm doing this one with a live voiceover and I also included free printables, these ones that you can download, these are the exact size so you can get like a stack size for each one. So each envelope if you just cut these out you're gonna get them in sizes that are getting smaller and smaller and you'll be able to make them into a funnel stack later on link below if you want to get these digital files and then just print them out otherwise any square paper will do as you know, I have like a bunch of tutorials here with different types of envelopes, but I just realized I never really shared the tutorial for the simplest envelope of all. This one is very simple. There are no cuts or you don't even need a paste or glue to put this together and the fold is pretty straightforward. But yeah, let's get started. So to begin, you will need to cut the squares from the digital file. Just download it, print, and then just cut it. So I have pre-cut mine into four different squares. So I will be making it with the largest one so it'll be easier to see. But all you have to really do is repeat this process that I'm going to teach you and do it for all the other sizes as well. I'm just going to set these aside so it's not as confusing and I'm gonna set the camera maybe this will do and I won't move it around so so much just so you won't be super confused the first step would be to find which part is your cover or the outer cover as you can see so you will want to work on the inner part so the pattern goes at the back like so so we first want to identify the center, so I'm going to just pick up this point and just let it kiss the other point as straight as I can. And then just press it here, not really, not really a full crease, just a light press just so you have an indent right there. And then do the same for this point to this point. Can we do this and do that as well just so we find the center now that you have the center we will take this side and fold it towards the center and full crease press that down now we'll do the same thing for the opposite side and let it kiss the center as well and press it down so now that you have that now you want to get the tip but we will not press it down the same way we did earlier so just lift this up and just you know let it kiss the center and just a light indent so you'll find the center as well so you have a sign there and then just fold it back. Now you'll want to pick this one up and fold it all the way up onto the center that we marked earlier and just press down on that as well. And then we're gonna pull back. And now the same tip and we're gonna fold it towards here. So we made a line right from this. So you want this part to go here. So pick this up and make 
a crease right there. And you want to pull it out again. Next is, you see this side right here? You want this side to go here. So we're just going to fold this side and push it towards here. So you get like a diagonal line. So just, you know, I'm trying not to move it at all, but it's a bit difficult. Yeah. So you want that. Then pull it back and do the same for here. And press it down. Okay. So then just open it up again. And now this time we take this side and then we want it to have a little diagonal on here. So we do this. Okay, I'm just gonna push you a little closer to it so you can see the fold. But this one's a bit this one is the trickiest part, but once you get it, you get it. So you want this fold to go here on this diagonal side and then but you don't press it all the way, you only press it up until here. Ta-da! And you do the same for the other side as well. And then just press until here. So you get like a little square right there. Now it's time to fold this back in. And you'll get this little tongue. So this little contraption here will be the lock of your envelope. And just press it down. Ta-da! And once that is ready, it's not perfect, but it has like this little tongue. And then you fold that in, like so. And then you tuck. I hope you can see it, but you tuck this diagonal here and you tuck it in here as well. Ta-da! Now you can see the envelope form and then when you fold this, you won't fold it like this because you will need the overlap so that things don't fall out when you put stuff in the envelope. So you just fold it down maybe a half a centimeter or so. It's up to you but I just eyeball this part and there you go there's your envelope now all you really have to do is repeat the whole process for all your other sheets and if you do that using the sheets in the printable you will get these ones in a stackable size or they're like little russian nesting dolls you can put one in or and another inside and another one inside so you have nesting envelopes put different stuff in them and tie a nice little ribbon around them and you can make this in any size you can make it super big and you can make it super small it's really up to you it's very versatile anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and do check out all my other videos thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye